Hey, if you like my content, please consider subscribing, drop a like on my video, and share it on social media. Thanks. By now you've probably all heard of and seen the video of the woman pulling a gun on a mother and daughter in a Chipotle parking lot in Michigan. Well, John Iadarola, from the Young Turks fame, he has something to say about this lady. And what he thinks of her is uh, not exactly accurate. I'll point out all the lies for you. Enjoy. It's the end of the week, and so it's time to take out the trash. Okay, this has been a particularly trashy week, Jason. Who would you like to throw in the can? So we're going to take this to the good old Midwest, Michigan, Auburn Hills, Michigan, where a woman pulls and cocks a gun on a black lady and her daughter. Now, this happened at a Chipotle. The woman with the gun bumps into the mother of the child. They get into an altercation, and it escalates outside of the Chipotle with epithets being thrown back and forth. Also, a man enters and defends the woman who would have, who pulls the gun. But essentially, it, it's the woman re refused to apologize for bumping into the lady. She was very rude, and the woman just wanted an apology, rightfully so. And also... Well, we don't have any evidence that um, this white woman bumped into the daughter of the black woman, and we don't have any evidence that she did not apologize. We just have people claiming that she did not apologize, and later we'll see that she apologizes profusely for some other things. We don't know the situation, but you think you know the situation because you're listening to the black people and you know that they're innocent because they're black, right? That's, that's the only conclusion I can draw here. You haven't learned your lesson from the, uh, what was the name of that? The Covington High School thing? You know, the, these people are probably accusing her of something that she didn't even do. And even if she did, they were actually accosting her for bumping into a 15-year-old girl. What, did she break a bone? And most likely it was an accident, or the daughter wouldn't get out of the way, so she bumped into her to kind of move past her. That's happened to me before. It's like, people won't get out of my way. Okay, well, I'm going to move past you. It's not because you're a different race than me. It's because you're not getting out of my way and I have some place to go. You want to stand there like an idiot. Okay, well, then I'm going to brush up against you when I pass you because you're not getting out of the way. She's a little, a little pissed about that. But it, it escalates because after the first interaction in regards to the physical contact, the woman hops into, the woman with the gun hops into her minivan and begins to pull out and... And from the video, it looks like she's going to run over the woman who's questioning her. Okay, the woman was not questioning her. She was screeching at her along with her daughter and another woman. We're all screeching at her, yelling at her, and the woman was being very calm at first. We can see it right here. Look, watch. ...wants to violate a 15-year-old. No, I'm asking a question. She's a she, child. She bumped into me when so I... So if she did something wrong, she needs to apologize. If she did this, something ignorant wrong, woman, she this ignorant woman if bumped into a 15-year-old. Correct. And you're on camera. Okay. You're feeling threatened. Okay, well, go in. No, Mom. I'm she, not, I got this. You're blocking me from getting no, my girl, No, we weren't. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. No, we no, weren't. You're ignorant. Go ahead. Call that. No, we will. But she's not going to sit there and violate a 15-year-old. She's ignorant. Do it, bitch. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. I want Wait, you to call do the police. Something. She's Dumb very girl. ignorant. Dumbass bitch. Yeah, I said it. You say something, I'll beat your white ass. Really? Oh, I do something. Please put your do something. hands on. Do something. Please. Who the f do you think you guys are? Who do you think you are? You, you called you her name. Did. She did nothing. To yeah, you. I, did. I did. Okay, I did. And then we see them start to back out, and we can see here in this reflection ignorance. Ignorance. that the woman screeching at the white woman runs. She doesn't run, but she walks very quickly to the back of the car. Why is she going back there? She knows they're backing up. Why is she going back there other than to cause more trouble? She's trying to keep these people from leaving because she wants to cause an incident. She knows that she has the upper hand because this is the race war. This is the beginning of the race war. Well, actually, it began a long time ago, but this is where we're finally starting to see violence out in the open about it. So she knows that she has the upper hand because the media is going to side with her. Law enforcement is probably going to side with her because they, have, they can't risk more riots. So she goes to the back and she starts hitting the window and telling them and saying, hey, look, you, you tried to run me over. Ma, watch. Things escalate even higher and the woman jumps out of the van, 
Brent releases a gun, which looks like a Glock, cocks it and shoot and points it, I'm sorry, points it at the woman and her daughter in nice. broad daylight in a parking lot in Auburn Hills, Michigan at a Chipotle. Uh, the Karens, I'm sorry, not the, the Carries. The Carries <laughs> are even more vicious, violent, and unhinged now more than ever, John. And this could have ended up it with the murder, this could have ended up very bad. This could have gone so bad yeah. very quickly because this woman had no problems pointing this gun, pretty much cocking this gun and saying, hey, listen, if you don't step back, I'm going to shoot you. And the, and the woman who accused the woman of, of um, excuse me, of bumping into her wasn't being violent in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? Let me take a look here and see how nonviolent she's being. Wants to... Violate a 15 year old. No, I'm asking a question. She's a she, child. She bumped into me when so I So if she did something wrong, she needs to apologize. If she did this ignorant woman, apologize. This ignorant woman if bumped into a 15 year old. Right? Correct? And okay. you're on camera. Oh, okay. You're Stop feeling police. threatened. Okay, well, go in. No, mom. I'm not, I got this. You're blocking me from getting no, girl, no, we weren't. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. You're ignorant. Go ahead, call them. No, be real. She's ignorant. Do it, bitch. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. I want you to call do the something. She's very know? ignorant. Dumbass bitch. Yeah, I said it. You say something, I'll beat your white ass too. For real. Yeah, oh, you. I will. Do something. Please put your do something. hands on. Do something. Please. Who the f Watch this clip. We can see who is being nonviolent here. And who is being violent. It's ridiculous what these people are saying. So we can see that... The black woman is being violent. She's being belligerent. She's trying to accost these people in the van because she feels like her daughter was so violated from being bumped into by this woman. And who knows? Maybe the daughter bumped into the woman and blamed it on on her. I've, that's happened plenty of times. Any way, shape, or form. It, it, again, it, it's you have to watch the video. It's it's graphic in the sense of you see someone who has zero regard for human life. I understand protecting yourself. But in an instance where there is no need for violence and there hasn't been any violence that's been enacted on anyone, this is outrageous. 100%. So, yes, the woman with the gum is a garbage person. Throw her in the trash. Yeah. Uh, in the, the trash. So, and you, look, you're a very reasonable person, so you say I understand you know, the need to protect yourself and all that. But, like, I never understand. Did the woman with the gun think that the woman with the daughter was going to kill the woman with the gun with her bare hands? Like who thinks well, that? Okay, so, who thinks right, that? Right, great question. But that also goes back and leans on the notion that, that black people, and this has been said. No, they're being belligerent and trying to accost the family that was in the van. I tell you what, if somebody, if somebody won't let me leave when I'm trying to leave and I have a gun, I'm going to pull out my gun. I'm not going to point it at anybody unless I have a reason to. She, or, I think she stepped over the line by pointing it, but she should have brought out that gun, gun and been like, look, back up back up right now i'm not joking and i mean the, she kept saying call the police <laughs> did you not you guys didn't even watch this or you you watched yeah you did you watched it through your through your lenses which are super racist super racist lenses all white people are racist don't you know except for i had a rolla <sighs> you guys are idiots and in studies that black people are seen as violent hi, hyper 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 i guess it, hyper aware and we we're looking we're predators we're predatory. That's that is the idea that some people that are not of color think that black people are. That that's all we're there were kid that that we're just these violent individuals that at any chance we are looking to get into a scuffle. We're looking to to hit someone, mm -hmm. to to accost someone. And that is not the case at all. That is not the case. Especially a woman with her daughter. A woman yeah. with her daughter wants to protect her child. Why would she why would she engage in something that could possibly put potentially put her and her daughter in harm's way? Did you see that? You said he's spitting mad about this. Let's go back and see if we can catch it again. Right there, did you see it? Let's go back. Let's see here. Go through a little bit slower. There he goes. Right there. Right there. You can see it. Spitting mad over this incident, which he is completely wrong about. Should the woman have pulled the gun? Yes. Should she have pointed it at anybody? No. That is assault. Once you point the gun, that's assault. 
she was being assaulted basically verbally assaulted by these people they did try to damage her vehicle right I mean you could you could make that argument she was hitting the back window this is ridiculous that you don't know what's happening but of course this is you're just race baiting this is your your we have to have the race war now garbage that you always pull her daughter in harm's way I mean, look, look at this. This woman has a gun. Like, this is a, a stance that you would take in a heightened situation, in, in an armed robbery, and it's something that's beyond bumping into someone at a Chipotle. It's just, it's insane. And You're right. It's beyond just bumping into somebody at a Chipotle. This whole situation is beyond bumping into somebody at a Chipotle. And whose fault is it? It is not the white woman's fault that this happened. It is the fault of the black people in this situation. So they go on to produce a whole bunch of more verbal diarrhea, talking about how white people are bad, cops are bad, um, people are ridiculous and killing killing black people left and right, and uh, black people are always the victim of this stuff. It's never it's never white people or anybody else. So you can watch the rest of it. I will try to leave a link to this video, the original, in the description. If not, it's called Garbage People by John Iadarola. I think it came out today. Find it. Have fun drawing your own conclusions. From what I see, this was a self-defense situation. These black people went way too far. They need to just shut up, mind their own business, and uh, just let people live their lives. But they don't want to do that. They want to have the race war. So, Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.